All right, guys, so this is one of those days where I was in an exploring mood. I had, on, had only been in uh, Durban, South Africa, maybe a couple of days, and had already uh, uh, explored the Victoria Market. And I just came from the City Hall, which is based right behind me. And I'm just walking. I'm actually not <laughs> headed to anywhere particular, so I'm just walking, just kind of following the people. Well, I'm just following everybody. Following the people, and of course, I ran in and I saw these kind of what looks like a flea market. And I think to the left is pretty much the post office, and I think is the auditorium. So that's all part of the uh, administrative building of the city in that area. And again, I'm just walking, exploring. It is a beautiful day. You know, before I go any further, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to be in South Africa for a little while, so if you want to follow me, Go ahead and do that. Like, comment, subscribe. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you're thinking. And so anyway, I am just, again, just walking around. Um, the weather is like 82 degrees. I dropped the Celsius below because I, I may have some international viewers who are not familiar with Fahrenheit. Like, I'm not really that familiar with Celsius. So anyway, uh, it's a beautiful day. I think that may be like 28 or 30, something like that. But I'll, I'll make sure I drop it below the uh, actual Celsius, the degrees in Celsius. So, um, again, I'm in a, just a walking mood. Um, you would think after walking all around Victoria Market, which you should have seen the video by now. If, if not, you know, make sure you uh, look through my playlist and, and find the video if this is your first time visiting my site. Uh, but I went to the market and also. You know, went for the market to the city hall. And I was in a walking mood. So I just started walking. I saw these vendors right across the street from the city hall. So I said, oh, let's, let's see what's going on over there. So I started following these people. <laughs> now keep in mind, this is a Tuesday. Uh, it's not crazy busy. And I don't know what this area looks like on a regular Tuesday or on weekends. But it was kind of busy. But, it, you know, it's a work week. So that may have a lot to do with it, too. So um, I saw this structure across the street. Again, had I didn't see a sign. But I was interested in, to, to know what was inside. So, I just again, I just kind of walk in and trying to figure out, how do you get in this place? You know, what is it? There's no sign, at least from this angle. So I said, all right, let me just walk and just kind of feel my way around until I figure out how to get across this street and see what's going on uh, with that building uh, and that's what I'm doing and again I saw more vendors and I'm sure on weekend it's a lot busier and I okay here's that building the name of the building is a workshop it's pretty much a shopping center slash mall so I decided to explore it uh, to see what was going on with it fortunately for me there was no uh, load sharing meaning there was no blackouts at the moment so there's plenty of light so I figured let's let's explore this place see what's going on it's huge. It's, I don't know what it was before, but it's definitely something that's been converted to a shopping center. Plenty of light. It kind of reminds me of the Museum Africa in a sense that it's so much light. It's almost like they was prepared for low shedding because the buildings definitely look old, but it's look like it's been maintained and uh, with using uh, plenty of natural light uh, inside it. Again, this is another one of these places I don't really recognize some of these stores, but I've been here seem like long enough to, that these stores going to be something that I'm going to become very familiar with, uh, especially if I you know, decide to go to another couple of other countries in South Africa. So, again, I'm just really looking. I'm not in a shopping mood. Uh, I'm one of those people who can go into the mall and look and walk out with nothing. And I'm okay with that. <laughs> and since I've been traveling, I, I don't really have the room to buy stuff unless I'm replacing something. Because I don't really have the space for it. So I'm just looking. So I don't try to get anything because everything I see, I really I want. But 
I've learned over the last couple of years that's just not going to happen. So I've learned to walk in and walk out empty-handed. So it's not a lot of people. I mean, other than that long line waiting for the, the ATM, which is seemed to be a, a standard around here. But then again, like I said, I was in Latin America. And seeing long lines wait for the ATM is almost common down there too. So I'm not sure why. I don't know if today payday or not, but I've, you know, I've seen it in Johannesburg. Just long lines, people waiting for uh, the used ATM, the bank, most ATMs. I haven't really paid attention to actual banks that I noticed that I can recall. So anyway, it's like, like a nice little place to kind of chill out at though. I mean, especially if you're right downtown, especially if it's raining. The cool thing about Durban is it seems to be always warm, so it doesn't seem like a place you have to worry about, re, you know, getting out of the weather, the, dodging the elements other than rain. Uh, so, some nice stores in there, though. I mean, I, I, even though I'm not buying anything, I can identify what's nice. So it's really some nice quality of uh, stores in there. Uh, I think it's only two levels. Uh, yeah, it's only two levels. You know, every time I walk into a store, an area, I mean, just being in South Africa in general, and I'm probably going to probably share the same comment whenever I give my thoughts on South Africa at the end of my uh, trip in the country. Uh, it just feels like I'm in the States. <laughs> you know, just in case you don't know, I actually lived in the Washington, D.C. area. We call it the DMV for the last 20 years. And there's so much similarities, at least from what I feel when I go to a lot of places. Just, just a lot of similarities, just to the area. Uh, in the DMV, we have a lot of uh, uh, people from Africa. Not, I don't know about South Africa, but definitely from Africa in general. So when I go to a mall, uh, or go to a store somewhere, especially in the Hyattsville area, of Prince George County, I'm used to people speaking another language. Uh, now I know most of people, a lot of people speak English here, but but again, a lot of people speak English there too. But it's just so common to go into a mall and, and that part of the of the DMV, and people are speaking another language. I mean, now granted, there are more uh, Latinos in that area also, but uh, but still, there's a lot of Africans you know, in that area, speaking their local, their, you know, their, their home language, so, and then when I look around, I, again, I just, I don't sense I'm in another country, and for me, that's a good thing, because every country I've been in, and I've been trying for the last two and a half years, almost two and a half years, I almost always felt that I was in another country, as soon as I got here, as soon as I arrived in the country, I almost felt like okay this is definitely a different country not because of the language just little things just okay you're in another country you can't just pluck me from one place and pop me in another place and tip blindfold me and say okay where you at I know I'm in another country but if you do do that to me with South Africa especially with Durban and Johannesburg I would still think I'm still in the state somewhere so that's just how similar at least the way I feel uh, just being here so I actually enjoy being here it just kind of feel natural to me so um,
Now keep in mind, this is probably three or maybe three, four o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, it's pretty busy, but I'm, I'm sure because of the location and it being right near center, uh, uh, downtown or basically City Hall, which is always a busy area no matter what country you go to, I can imagine why it's kind of busy. I'd be curious to know what it's like on the weekend. So maybe while I'm here, uh, I'll probably check it out on the weekend, see what's going on. But just the area in general, because again, I'm not going there just to, uh, to shop or anything. Has a nice little, I mean, it's a small spoo court, but it does have a few things. It's funny, it's a billion KFCs <laughs> in Africa, you know. Uh, and I'm liking this Steers place. I mean, it's, I mean, it's kind of a fast food burger, but the burger does taste a little bit different than what I'm used to. I mean, but it doesn't seem as processed, meaning the beef doesn't seem like overly processed as to some of the other uh, American-based uh, uh, fast food places like McDonald's or a Burger King. Uh, the meat does have a little more kind of, I won't say tender because it's a burger, but it does feels like a little more tender. Seems a little bit different, but I mean, but I I, uh, I enjoy it. Only had a couple of things out of this wimpy place, I and that was at the airport in Johannesburg. I wasn't impressed at all. <laughs> so maybe I need to try something else, you know, to give wimpy uh, another uh, chance because you know I don't know what their specialty but if it's burgers then I'm not sold on Wimpy uh, so. again I'm just like walking around exploring trying to see what's going on in this area I mean it's small just I'm in no rush. I'm, I'm here for a little while. Well, not a little while, but I'm here for a few days. Uh, and again, the weather is beautiful and it's supposed to be kind of ugly the rest of the week. Don't know what that looks like. Uh, uh, but it's still going to be warm. It's just probably supposed to be more cloudy and rainy. Uh, or at least overcast. I think it's another bigger mall uh, near kind of north near North Beach area for, for the North Beach. I think near Suncoast and Casino. I think uh, I may try to get up there. I may not. We'll see. Uh, I kind of like to just divide downtown a little bit. I don't know. I just love energized downtown, and, and Durban definitely has a, a downtown with energy, especially when you can get a lot of energy on a Monday or Tuesday, which is. Not common in a lot of other cities I've been to, uh, on a, especially that early in the week. I think I've done enough exploring this mall. I think it's time to kind of go out and see what else outside this mall. See what's the energy. Again, like I said, when you walk out this door, it's a flea market. And I guess they have it every day. You know, I'm pretty sure it's a lot more busy on the weekend, but I guess they have it every day. And I'm just kind of like walking, exploring. I was going to walk through the flea market, but I, you know, after walking at Victoria Market, I really don't want to see more stuff. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to I see this thing that looks like like an open area, like a park. And I see a lot of people out there. So I'm just kind of heading this direction, see what's going on out there. It's 
really kind of just uh, busy out here too, you know. Uh, just, I mean, this is on the other side of the workshop, and actually they have another entrance that leads into the uh, right there, to the right, that leads into the uh, food court. So you got obviously entries from inside the mall, and of course from the outside of the mall to leads that leads directly to the food court. So that's kind of cool, you know. You go ahead and get you some chicken, and go out there and kind of like sit around on the park. And off in the distance, I see this symbol. Do you know? I said, "Oh wow, haven't seen that in a while." The whole red ribbon, you know, dealing with the uh, HIV/AIDS uh, situation that happened. Uh, well, I mean, I guess it's still going on, but it was obviously compared to what we have now, it was a big thing many, many years ago. So I haven't seen that symbol in a very long time. So it was interesting to see it after so many years, especially dealing with what we've been dealing with with the last, you know, two, three years. Uh, I did a kind of a re research on what it is and, well, I know what it is, but why it's there. Uh, it's actually a kind of a statue or uh, a monument uh, to celebrate or uh, dedicate to a uh, woman named Gugu Diamini. I'm sure I'm jacking up her name, do I apologize? Uh, but, but let me tell you who she is, or who she was rather. Gugu Diamini was a South African woman from a, a town that's kind of east of uh, KwaZulu Natal, probably jacked that up too, uh, province. She was stoned and stabbed to death after she had admitted on a Zulu radio station, uh, a Zulu language radio station, on World AIDS Day that she was HIV positive. Wow, you know it's funny, I, now that I hear about that, I just remember stories just from around the world, how people were treated, well even in the U.S. where well, people who had AIDS or whatever. So. It's sad, but anyway, this park is dedicated to her, and I think well, I think to other uh, people who probably died of AIDS, but definitely it was that particular symbol was dedicated to her. It's a really nice park. People are chilling, lounging, and relaxing. I mean, you would think it's a Sunday afternoon. Uh, people just lounging and. <laughs> Like they got nothing to do, which I really appreciate. Uh, if I wasn't in the mode of just exploring, I'd probably do the same thing. Just chill out. So... So I think I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Uh, actually, there's a sign right here. I'm going to try to give a little closer view of the sign so you can see what's going on and also give you another pan view of the area. But again, I hope you like this video. I hope you like these videos. If you've been to my videos more than once. Uh, until the next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell. And I'll see you in the next video from the city of Durban. Or maybe I'm in another city by this time. We'll see. All right. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.